Hello YouTube. Um, hi. This is Gladius Relics of War 40k game 4x strategy. And I'm playing with the Iron Hands mod, which is really nice. We're at turn 175. I've got quite a large city going on. I usually prioritise that because that's what I enjoy most, I suppose, uh, because everything else is really good too. Got quite a lot of marines and Name your target. And Heavy armor, standing blades and Ready hunters. for commands. And we've got ten chapters finest. Yes you are. What we've do you command? An iron captain and an Send iron father. Who are the two unique hero types with the mod. And they're pretty awesome too. Now I've been here a while, um, farming the orcs. Uh, there are three orc armies, and although I've made the difficulty not so bad for me, they are going to outnumber me a great deal, but their squads won't be anywhere near as good as mine. That's the idea. And we are waiting for the third army to appear. Once the, the red army, the red orcs, once they make their appearance, then I'll know that the three orc armies that dominate this side of the map have linked off and killed all the wildlife. I only had to kill the wildlife on my little island. But uh, I have taken it and it's a very defensible position. Now, <coughs> you may be thinking, how did I get this lucky? Well, I kind of exploited something, yes. You'll notice that I do not have the little red exclamation mark next to my name showing that uh, achievements are disabled. However, I have used the debug menu, Control D, if you didn't know, to show me the entire map. Now, the way I've still got my game undo that is because I saved the game before I did that. So I saved the game, used Control D to look at the map, and then loaded the game so I still had access to my achievements and I did that you know I spawned a few different maps before I found one that I was happy to spend you know 100 plus hours on so I'm just gonna play for a little bit I might even pause and fast forward for you well I mean like stop the video and then video and then because the orcs have lost interest Last for the time being. They're probably building for something big. Which is what I'm waiting for because I've got. I awesome. the oh, Venerable Dreadnought Heroes. Be good kit. They're a dread they're a vehicle that can have equipment, which makes them extra awesome. Yes, a squad my lord. of assault marines. I um I don't bother with the veterans on this mod. They're good, but they're not as powerful as the standard squads when they're linked together with converged squads, which is a really nice little addition to the mod, the ability to convert converged squads into bigger squads. You can only do, I think you can do that with the Imperial Guard in the vanilla game, I'm not sure. I we don't stand play as ready. Them. I've got a few more squads waiting to go out. I'm not building anything at the moment except for buildings. I'm waiting for the launch pads to come in so I can build. Storm Raven gunships. I am here. Heavy armor standing by. You know, the one time yes. I forget to do this, the orcs will come and ravage me. Do that every turn. Like it's going to be about four more turns before I can build a Storm Raven. I am here. Well, they're dead.
that's what you have of me. Another nice addition to the mod is cybernetic enhancements for your dudes. That's all of them for that squad. Direct us to the enemy. The last one becomes available when they hit rank nine. All systems operational. Acknowledged. Firing quake shells. Heavy armor standing by. I shouldn't whistle, that's Terminators ready. Defenses at the ready. Main play, battle ready. Super annoying. Name your target. Reporting minor resistance. Your orders were lost. Fortress of Redemption. Defensive weapons active. Aquila strong point reporting. Acknowledged. Firing quake shells. We are the chapter's finest. I'll uh, skip the head on and show you a bit more later.